in games like cricket 24 we have all seen custom difficulties where you can set your own difficulty as per your wish for batting bowling physics and everything which allows you to have a great amount of flexibility in the way you play without having to depend on the game's default difficulty now as claimed by real cricket swipe for the first time ever we have this option on mobile cricket gaming platform as well so let's have a look at how it works this is custom difficulty where you can set difficulty or sliders as you call it in cricket 24 for ai batting ai bowling and user batting and user bowling as well you can see different sliders for ai batting similarly you can choose ai bowling user batting and user bowling as well now let's look at ai batting what are the sliders available first one is ai target score intent so this is nothing but the score that the ai would want to set while batting first so if you slide this to the right extreme right then the ai would try to set as high a target as possible for you to chase similarly if you push it towards the extreme left the target for you to chase while batting second will be low because the ai's intent to set the target will be lower now one thing to note is that this would also depend on the match situation the pitch etc if the ai lose early wickets even if you are put the slider towards right they will reassess the situation and change their batting accordingly so the slider works only when everything is falling in place and if everything is right with the smash situation then the ai would choose to set a high target so that's what this particular slider does then we have ai strike rate once again similar to the score intent ai strike rate slider means the strike rate at which the ai batsmen want to bat if you push it to the right the ai batsmen would look to maintain a high strike rate while batting which obviously will result in higher run rate also the risk would be a little bit higher and if you want the ai to bat a little bit slowly you can push it towards left or in the middle so it all depends on the match situation once again and the type of the batsman if it's an aggressive batsman and if you have this at high then obviously he will have higher success rate so pretty simple next up is ai chances of wickets now if you're struggling with the ball if you're not that good with taking wickets you can push this ladder towards right side which means there are more chances of picking up wickets the ai would play a little bit more carelessly resulting in more wickets falling and similarly if you push it towards left side they play a bit more cautiously and picking up wickets would be a bit of a struggle also this would depend on the skill level of the bowler that is you that will also come into effect but generally speaking if you push it towards right the chances of wickets falling will be higher you don't want this to be on the higher side when you're playing test matches because you want a balanced gameplay so a middle one would be better but it also depends on you or how you want to play your real cricket swipe game ai cautiousness is also connected to the chances of wicket now if you have ai cautiousness pushed towards the right side or the extreme side the ai will be more cautious on losing wicket so if the ai already lost a couple of wickets and the ai cautiousness is to the right then the ai will take less risk and try to consolidate and play cautiously now if you have pushed it towards the left side the ai will not be that cautious they'll try to play casually and you will end up getting more wickets so these two are connected if your chances of wickets high and the ai cautiousness at low that is chances of wicket at right side and the ai cautiousness left side that will result in ai losing more wickets quickly so you have to use this in combination you can't have both at extreme right that will not uh, be a good slider setting if you have chances of wickets at high then have the cautiousness as low so that ai would lose more wickets next up is ai aggression now this is this will come into effect when they are batting second or the ai is chasing a target if you have ai aggression push towards the right side that is the extreme side they will aggressively go after your target and try to hunt down whatever the target you have set very aggressively with a higher run rate so they'll try to get to the target as fast as possible and if you have it at left side to the left extreme they'll not be that aggressive they'll still look to get to the target but will not try really look to hunt down the target in less overs and stuff like that so another slider here which will help you decide how aggressive you want the ai to bat especially when batting second ai miss and edge chances are pretty self-explanatory if you push it towards right side the ai will miss the ball more while batting and also the chances of edge and you getting wicket is higher once again if you have chances of wickets slider at the right extreme this will help link with that and you will get more wickets if you have this miss and edge chances push towards the right side ai timing if you want the ai to bat with perfect timing have a pretty good gameplay then you can push it towards right side if you have it at left side the ai timing will not be that great and the overall batting of ai will be a bit iffy so as i said if you want a more balanced gameplay you can push it towards right side 
or if you want an easier gameplay you can push it towards left side the last one is running between the wicket if you have this push it towards right the ai will be aggressive with the running quick singles twos and obviously if you have this slider to the left they will be a bit careless while running and once again if the chances of wickets are higher along with the lower running between the wicket aggression there are chances that you could get a lot of run outs as well so all these sliders can be used in combination as per your wish so just play and see how it works for you the combination and then try to decide on a perfect one coming to bowl ai bowling speed variation so basically what this means is that if you have a bowler in the ai lineup who can vary his pace uh, who has the skill then if you have this push towards right side he will be able to vary his pace more that is one ball can be at 140 the other can be at 115 so a lot of variations especially in t20 cricket this comes into effect but you have this push towards the left side the variations will be less most of the bowling or the balls will be around constant speed 140 135 whatever the bowlers stock pace is similarly we have max spin the more you push towards the right the more the ball will turn now i do not recommend this to be at the higher unless you want a spitting cobra pitch or raging turner in test match like we sometime used to get in india but a middle one would be better for the quality of cricket similarly with swing if you want that banana swing playing in england in a test match you can push it towards right side the ball will swing a lot and if you are playing on a dusty wicket in bangladesh or india you can push the swing slider towards left side so the ball doesn't swing much ai fielding accuracy the more you push towards the right the more the accurate the throw will be from the ai hitting the stumps chances of you getting run out and similarly with ai miss field catch if you push it towards right they will field well and if you push it towards left there will be a lot of misfields drop catches etc by the ai coming to user batting first one is user timing so if you have push it to the left you will be able to play your shot with perfect timing without much much of an issue but if you want a higher challenge better challenge while batting or if you're already a pro uh, you feel everything is coming off easily you can push it towards right so that timing will not be that easy you'll have to you have to play perfect shots to time the ball well next up is user edge once again if you push it towards the left side you'll not uh, edge the ball much when you're playing against ai but as i said if you want a higher challenge you can push it towards the right side and you'll get a much much better challenge this is much better for test matches hardcore difficulty and you can play around with the slider depending on your skill level user aggression difficulty now if you have this towards the left you are you'll be able to play aggressive shot without much risk of getting out so naturally when you're playing aggressively uh, the chances of getting out is higher as an obvious statement but if you have this slider to the left the risk of getting out will be lower and if you want a realistic scenario you have to push it towards right side either maximum or at 75 percent so that the chances of getting out while playing aggressive shots are also higher next is user timing difficulty similar to the one the first one if you push it towards right it will be difficult for you to time the ball without being perfect or without being the perfect range the higher value set and if you push it towards left timing the ball will be easier coming to bowling once again now this is user feeling accuracy if you have the feeling set to automatic only then this will work so the throw from the fielder how accurate those throws are going to be that is what this slider means you can push it towards right for the throws to be super accurate and if you push it towards the left the throw will be less accurate similarly with missed fields and catches all these settings are self-explanatory but do remember this will work only when the fielding is set to automatic and not manual coming to bowling speed variance similar to the ai bowling speed variance that we set if you have it at right extreme right you will be able to vary your pace more for example if you have just with bumrah you can bowl at 145 you also bowl at 130 132 125 if you want to bowl slower balls then we have user max spin user max swing self-explanatory just like we explained in the previous sliders so that's it with the custom difficulty hope you guys have understood whatever i have informed here i'm just taking my experience from cricket 24 and applying it here but uh, that is what it means and you also have a lot of presets on the right side so the game has already given you a few preset where you can choose from the default preset for example the preset one if you choose the preset one the ai will bat extremely high uh, bat with extremely high scoring intent try to play aggressively but they'll also throw a wicket and stuff like that you can see the strengths and weakness and choose the presets if you want but i would suggest against doing that and set your own difficulty which would be much more fun play according to your style so that's it for this video until next time it's goodbye from me take care have a nice one